In the last chapter, we went over the mechanics of the modulators in Sakura. In this chapter, we'll take a look at the practical application of the modulator section by providing you with some of the more popular examples of modulation. Another common form of modulation is the filter sweep. This involves taking the filter cutoff of one of the filters and linking it to a modulator. In this case, I'm going to select to use the modulation wheel on my controller keyboard to control the filter cutoff. So now when I press a key on my keyboard and use the modulation wheel, you can hear how the cutoff sweeps up to the frequency towards the point when all cutoff is raised so high that the volume of the sound has dropped dramatically. Similarly, you can reverse the situation, and instead of changing the low cut frequency, you can instead choose to use the high cut filter cutoff and sweep downwards. This is easy to do and only requires two changes to the previous setup. First change the polarity of the modulator so that instead of adding to the parameter, the modulator is going to lower it. And next, change the target of the modulation to the high cut filter cutoff. Again, as the frequency cutoff reaches the extreme, the volume of the sound drops. A technique that is used to compensate for the volume drop-off in the last two examples is by using the modulation to adjust the volume in some way as the filter removes the frequency from the sound. The most obvious target is to adjust the volume. Many instruments allow for a technique that is known by its musical term, vibrato. For example, a guitarist will push and pull on a string while a note is being held to move the pitch up and down so that the pitch doesn't remain constant. This creates more interest than that of a monotone note. It's not just a technique that is common with string instruments. Thankfully, it is easy to replicate in Sakura using a modulator. The low frequency oscillator that you can find here is used for techniques such as this. Select the LFO as the source of the modulation, and of course, you'll set the target as the pitch. You can control the amount the LFO moves by adjusting its own control over beside the envelope controls that can be found here. Now it is just a simple matter of adjusting the various controls till you are happy with the result. The next example I will show you is an interesting one and is an excellent demonstration of just how far you can take modulation. If we take the modulator that we set up in the last example, we can make an adjustment to this. Use another modulator and select the mod wheel as its source and the LFO amplitude as the target. Now what happens is that while the mod wheel is at its lowest value, there is no vibrato on the note. But as the mod wheel is increased, vibrato is introduced gently at first, then increases in effect as the mod wheel is moved up. This is but a small selection of what you can do with just a few modulators. In Sakura, you have eight, so I'm sure you can imagine just how intricate the subtle changes that can make or break a particular sound. In the next chapter, we'll go on to look at the final part of Sakura's process, which, as you may remember back at the very beginning of these videos, was the acoustics section.